natural point of aim. Shooter's best friend. Aim in on the target like you just were. Let me know when you have it on target. Target. Okay, close your eyes. Open them. Still exactly the same spot? Yes. Close them and pull the trigger. Nice. Oh my gosh. This dude just shot it with his eyes closed. <laughs> <laughs> I have never was done that. Was that a that. hit? That is, bro, I like that. Was that a hit? That was a hit. Yes, bro. dude. That was a hit. <laughs> What just happened? Shot it with his eyes closed, man. 560 yards. <laughs> fun day today at the Yee Yee Farm. I'm going to find out if I could shoot a 6.5 Creedmoor bullseye at 1,000 yards. Now that's farther than anything I've ever shot. That's probably 700 yards farther than anything I've ever shot. I mean, we're talking 10 football fields, 3,000 feet. That's over half a mile. You could argue that there is no practical use unless you're a military sniper to be able to shoot that far, but yes, there's several reasons. Think about it this way. If you're ever trying to control a, a cattle herd or a deer population in some management program on a ranch, and you have a thousand yard shot on a predator like a coyote, and you could take it, wouldn't you want to know how? I don't know how, but I have some very special guests today that are going to teach me, and when they teach me, hopefully they can teach you too. We're here at Yee Farm, setting up. We're gonna zero at 100 yards. We got our 6.5 Creed Moors. Tyler and I both got some amazing Spikes Tactical rifles. And we've never shot them. We're gonna try them out right now. And then we're gonna flip to the other side of that berm and shoot 1,000 yards. Okay, first question, what is this? What do we have here? So that's a chronograph. So that's gonna give you your muzzle velocity? It's measuring the bullet coming out yep. and the speed of it. The bullet speed. What you want is obviously you want image from edge to edge and all the way around. You're gonna squeeze it so it raises the butt stock up. And then what it does is that way when you get on target, you just hold it, that tension on it, and the reticle's gonna stay right on target. So that way you're not having to do do this right. and get all, all shaky. You're just gonna use the support of the bag. You're pretty zeroed, so you can go ahead and aim in on the uh, on that same steel. We sighted in the rifles at 100 yards, and so now, how, how far is it? 500? 561. 561. This will be test number two. At this distance, you can't even, with your naked eye, you can't even really see the target. It just looks like a black hog. Yep. <laughs> yep. And dude, that's no joke. Like the only thing I would, you know, look out for overseas too is just blobs that move. Just Some the color blob. line. Shape yeah. and contrast. Yep. After the hundred yard shot, what changes with me now? Specifically, the biggest thing we'll take a look at is your position because mm -hmm. you, you shot from the bench first. Okay. Yep. So once you get lined up, um, if Nick wants to give you a yeah, sure, down bro. and dirty. So the best thing, best piece of advice is you want to have this rifle be no more than like an extension to your body. You want to be as perfectly straight behind as the rifle as possible. That way when the recoil comes back, you're only looking at 6.5, half an inch to an inch of recoil. Um, fight through that and keep the gun perfectly aligned. That way you don't get bipod hop to the left or right. Uh, biggest thing for like a precision shooter is to be able to see your impact down range. Breathing's gonna be key. You know, with this distance, uh, I usually crack my shot at the bottom of the breath. Give it like three good in and out breaths. Relax, relax, relax. Don't think too much. Put the sights on the target and squeeze. And these are really good triggers, man. Watch his side when I do that. His and side starts to flex. sights are coming way off to the right. So gotcha, gotcha. Use your skeletal system for what it is. It's a foundation. So it's a great position, nice and flat, feet are flat. 
can manage that all day and he's, he's gonna be right back on target because I mean, yeah snipers are great first round hits are always cool but you need to be prepared for that second round follow-up even more so again left to right at the target stand by got you left to right yep so let's do a left point six left point six Going for left point six. Hit. Gotcha. Sending in three, two. Hit. Punch in the center circle. Oh, bro, you brought it back, man. I appreciate <laughs> that, man. Dude, thank you, man. Hell yeah. Ah, oh. 560 yards, huh? Bro. All that's right. all you, man. That's you don't you tattoo want. sniper on your arm unless you're <laughs> serious about this. That's all good. That's all good. That's all you. That is crisp, bro. That is a nice, nice rifle. Dude, if we had stuff like that overseas, could you imagine? Bad day. Oh my gosh, dude. All right, so all the language you guys were using mm -hmm. for right and left. Okay, now check this. Do you see that mirage down there? It looks like water. Yes. Okay, and you see how the angle of it is going from the left to the right? Yes. And it's slightly angled. Yes. Not much wind down there, so you want to make the bullet or push the bullet. It's like the movie or whatever. Wanted. Where you curve the bullet. Yeah. Push the bullet into the wind. So okay. you know it's going left left to right. You want to aim into the wind. To the left. So you see those uh those hash marks yes. on your reticle? So you see the first number you see on the left to right one is the two? Yes. So to the right of the two, as you're working your way back towards the center, you see that first large one? Yes. That's one. Okay. So then in between that one and the, the second one is a 0.75. Gotcha. And then that very first one that you would see from center is your 0.5 or your half mil. Gotcha. Let me know when you're good. Roger. All right, I'm ready. Spotter's up. Nice. Hit. Nice. <laughs> Same thing. There you go. On you. Nice. Shot 560 yards, nailed it. I had the advice of some of the best snipers. And I'm gonna move back now to 1,000 yards. Here's the money shot. 1,000 yards, here we go. This is gonna be our, our shot. Right along this fence line of the Yigi farm, straight down that way, there is a berm that is right here, is that? Right there, is that visible in this camera? It's a long shot, you can't even see what that is. If that was a, uh, a wild hog breaking in the fence at mom's ranch, going after a nice food plot that you just planted for the deer, could you make that shot? Yeah. Yes! Right, right through the center. Yep. Saw the dust. Wow. Nice, brother. Yes, sir. Dude, I haven't done that in a while. I forgot what a thousand yards looks like. Dude, that's all good spotter right there, baby. Oh, that's so good. All right, lefty Stop coming in. Come down off that little rust now, see it? <laughs> Can't even barely see it. Right? <laughs> That's what makes it good, man. All right, spotter, where are we at? All right, so we've got a left to right right now. Um, you should be good for elevation. So I'm going to give you holds based on the target. So if I say left edge, hold the left that you, as you see it. We always talk about the target as you see it. So anatomically, it's his right but as we talk about it, it's gonna be his left, or our left. Our left, his right. Correct. Roger that. Little low and left. Correct. Ready. Breeze, breeze, breeze. Send it. Everything's very, very fine adjusted. Impact. Nice, man. Heck oh, yeah, bro. Five o'clock. Dude. That's what's up. Right? Yeah. This next one, brother, just hold the trigger back. Yep. Hold the trigger back. Absorb it. Dude, I'm, I think of it like it's a very intimate like relationship at that point. Right when that cracks, like you're getting married, bro. 
marry yourself to the trigger just embrace that dude it's it's beauty at that point that's picasso about to happen right there down range bro okay so now we're uh, we're getting a little bit of a right to left wind so same elevation pull just off of the right edge so just outside of that right edge nice so it looks like it snuck in through the circle because nice. the dust picked up behind it. Dude. Oh, it's a rush. You look so good behind that too, man. <laughs> Ain't no coyote safe out here anymore. You make me feel good. <laughs> oh, I feel amazing. <laughs> He's like, fuel up the to bus. To know that you have that kind of power uh -huh. when someone didn't even know you are there is indescribable. Parker, go ahead and get your first shot at a thousand. <laughs> God, bro. Man. Yeah, first shot at a thousand. <laughs> My God! The four o'clock of that circle. So basically, just imagine that that empty circle in the chest is a clock, and hold the four o'clock. Okay, so you were uh, a little low. Right through the center. Nice. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> Second round impact. That's, that's, crazy. that's professional, wow. man. Shot at a thousand yards. That's crazy. All right. An amazing day at the EE farm. Learn how to shoot a thousand yards. The farthest I'd ever shot is probably 300 max. 300 max. So uh, we just did a thousand. Use the Spikes Tactical 6.5 Creedmoor, which is unbelievable for this kind of situation. And uh, we also had some of the best Army and Marine snipers you could possibly have teaching you precision shooting. Yee -yee.